Welcome to week number six for Liz. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is a free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Tell us the good news, Liz. Uh, one stone, two pounds. <laughs> Amazing. So that means you've lost three pounds this week. Yep. So huh. congratulations. That means you are the first one of the slimmers to lose the stone. Yay. <laughs> What have you been up to this week? Uh, not much, due to my dodgy ear still, but oh. a little bit of a walk yesterday. And how's the food been going? Uh, not bad, actually. Did try the protein balls today from Lidl. They were quite nice. And do you think they're a snack or are they meal replacement? What would you use them as? I kind of had them just, I had sushi and them for lunch. So kind of like with the meal. And it's just good to have kind of a, a sweet snack that's also got some protein in as well, which is going to keep you feeling full. Yeah, very nice, actually. I was quite surprised. Because a lot of these protein things are not so nice. <laughs> they weren't very raspberry, quite chocolatey, though. Oh, were they? What other flavours did they have? Oh, I think there was a coconut one or them ones. Wonderful. Right. So let's have a little look through your food diary. Are you still working, by the way? Oh, yeah. And is it, have you taken any medication for your ear? Are you just walking uh, around with one ear? No, I've been on antibiotics for about three weeks. And they're still not kicking in? Yeah, but not quite finishing it off. And now I've got a cold as well, so that's helpful. Oh, no, just to add into it. It's not COVID I've tested. Okay. <laughs> right, Thursday, which is today, you've had yoghurt and berries for breakfast. Uh, yesterday, apple for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, a sweet chilli wrap with some ham and cheese. And a bit of tortilla chips. Oh, yeah. And then the evening last night, chicken salad, it looks like. Oh, yes. And you burnt 1,200 calories through exercise. Is that just steps at work? No, that was out and about. We did a nearly six-mile walk. I dragged my eldest out because she was off school poorly. Oh. She's fine. <laughs> the fresh air will have done a good, Liz. It did rain quite a bit though, so we did get a little bit wet. Right. Uh, Tuesday breakfast. Um, well, I say breakfast, but were you on a night shift because you had miso soup? Yes, that'd be a night shift. That's not the normal breakfast, is it? <laughs> uh, also, some yogurt, some digestive biscuits, some crisps, and an apple. Uh, and then for lunchtime, uh, Tuna and sweet corn pasta with the protein pot. Oh, and yes. then in the evening, uh, pork gelfrezi with veg and more veg and more veg. Great. A lot of veg. This is what we like to see. Uh, Monday, apple crisps and miso soup again. At work. <laughs> now, did you see the post that I made about fermented food today? How it's good for your gut? Yes, but it does make you feel better. I don't feel as bloated if I have the soup, to be fair. Yeah, miso is the top, in the top seven uh, fermented products to help your gut. So, which is so good because it, I don't know whether you know, but antibiotics does the opposite of what good gut health does. So it's really important that you keep going with this miso while you're on the antibiotics. Ah. So obviously you're putting in... I don't want to say the bad, but you're doing something that's kind of destroying the gut, but you're also adding in something which is protecting the gut. So that's a good move. Oh. And obviously having yogurt as well will help as well. Yeah. Um, for lunch, a prawn layered salad with yogurt and a very lean smoothie. What was that? Oh, yeah. They sell them in Tesco's in the meal deal, I think it was. Oh, that sounds nice. It's got all these berries in and different vitamin thingy. 
Why do you think it's lean? Were they very slim line berries? <laughs> I don't know. The sugar content's probably sky high in it, but yeah. I've never seen that description before. <laughs> Um, and then in the evening, uh, pad thai with pork and cho sum. What's cho sum? Oh, I don't know. It came in the odd box. Long green stuff. Oh, yeah. Like book A little bit like, yeah, stretched pak choy. Yeah. I didn't get that in my odd box. I feel disappointed now. <laughs> uh, Sunday, uh, berries with yogurt and chia seeds. For lunch, chicken thighs. Oh, Sunday dinner. That was on a Sunday. Sunday That's dinner. There. A little Cadbury's mini roll and three custard creams. Was that work? That was to make up calories before I went to work so I could I was... take medication as well because I have to take it with food. <laughs> um, right, Saturday, rice cakes with peanut butter. For lunch, seafood sticks with a flatbread and salad. And a bit of burger sauce. Was that nice? Burger oh, sauce yeah. on seafood sticks. Well, I didn't have the seafood sauce and it was closest thing. It was fine. <laughs> oh, I love reading your food diary. <laughs> uh, in the evening, pumpkin. Oh, yeah, my half pumpkin roasted. It yeah. was so filling and ridiculous. And you couldn't eat it all, could you? It was really nice though. And then Friday, the 1st of April, you had uh, apple for breakfast, a skinny whip mint for lunch, and in the evening, tortilla wraps with sweet chili sauce, cheese, chicken, lettuce, and sour cream. So a bit of a fajita sort of thing going yeah. on there. Bit of a make your own. Uh, last Thursday, this is the final day, apple for breakfast, and then Peri peri chicken with salad and salad cream for lunch. Great. Amazing, Liz. You're doing so, so well. Now I've cut out the bread and like not had it, it's a lot easier now. Yeah. I don't know what it was at the beginning. It was quite hard at the beginning to like not have it. But once you get into the swing of it and the sugar cravings go as well from not having the bread, you do feel better, don't you? Yeah, and I've been having sandwich things if I need anything, or like wraps or something if we're having sandwiches. Perfect. Great. Right. So what is your goal for next week? Oh, I don't think it, well, it might make it to the next half. Who knows? Now, because a lot of the other slimmers haven't reached their stone, I've given them all a challenge this week, which is to get oh. rid of grains, to get rid of caffeine, loads of different things. Did you manage? Did you see that post that I made about it? No, I must have missed that one. But I don't have caffeine anyway. I only have decaf for the last two years, I think it is now. Right. I will tag you in the post then. And if you want to really go for it, you could lose those five ready for next week. No grains. Oh, leafy things then. <laughs> yes. To be honest, it's not that different from what you're doing now. It's just a few little tweaks. So you could do it. Have the chia seeds, they're not are they great? No, they're not green. No, they're seeds, so they're fine. Oh, that's okay. And then start the breakfast. Oh, it might be doable, I think. Yeah. Right, I'll tag you in that post so you can see. Wonderful. Right, any challenges this weekend? We got a clear week. Oh no, I've got to set the eldest to a party, so it's gonna involve me walking around shops while she's at the cinema. Oh well, you'll get your steps in anyway, so that's good. And then back at work on Sunday. <laughs> Great. So definitely get steps in there lately. Right. Any other questions? Mm, can't think of any. Great. Right. That's it from me. I will tag you in this post and we'll see you next week. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>